Well hello there everybody, today we're going to do levitation in Photoshop, but first, intro. So before we get into it, I want to mention that having a background for your image is very important. So if you have your subject in, for one shot take your subject out so that you can have a clean slate to work from. This is going to make it easier when you're editing in post. Also having a tripod is very important if you want to be able to align your shots up properly. Um, it also saves a lot of time and I'll let you know what I mean by that in a little bit later. Also I paid attention to having some clothing dangling from the subject. That way it just adds a little bit more dimension and uh, gives it a little more realism. So let's get right in. So as you can see I have my two layers here and I'm going to just bring down the opacity of the top one which has my subject in it and the bottom layer is with the clean slate with nothing in it and I'm, I'm just going to align the two shots up. I'm going to use the lamp as a reference and as soon as I see it line up uh, it's going to look pretty good and I'm actually getting a pretty cool ghost effect. Anyways I'm just going to bring the opacity back up and it looks pretty good so far and I'm just going to create a layer mask on the top layer and then I'm going to select my eraser tool and with my layer mask selected I'm just going to erase the seat that he's sitting on and what you can see is it's also removing some of the shadow now some of it does look unrealistic but we also want to have some shadow under there but I'll show you how to fix it a little bit later I'm just going to undo that because I made a mistake and I'm just going to sharpen my brush to make it a little more precise and I'm just going to finish cutting that chair out and then I'm just going to remove the harshness down a little bit that way I don't have such a harsh cut in the shadow and that looks pretty good already. It looks like the shadow is being cast by the window there, so I'm going to leave it like that. But as you can see, we removed the shadow from underneath him. So I'm just going to create a new layer, select my brush tool, and I'm just going to have a soft brush and paint black over the image. And this may take a couple of attempts, kind of experiment. And uh, you can play with the opacity of the brush as well. And remember, you can also make the center of the shadow a little darker than the outside. Uh, that just kind of gives a little more realism to it. And I can apply with the opacity of the layer. And then the next thing I'm going to do just for fun is just to create a new layer. And I'm just going to paint black over the windows to make it look a little less bright. And that's it. If you guys like Photoshop tutorials like this one, or maybe some photography tutorials, filmmaking tutorials, or just building your own brand, consider subscribing. And remember, learn, film, repeat. And until next time, keep smiling, keep shooting.